one, which is u1 plus x times un prime, which is equal to one plus x. So in this case, it says given that u8 is 13 plus x and u10 is 34 x plus one, find u9 prime. All right, so this is the formula. I always start with the formula. So I start in the formula that un plus one and they said that's equal to un minus one plus x times un prime. So we need un prime, or we need u nine prime, so we need to let n equal nine. So we're gonna let n equal nine. Let n be equal to the magic number of nine. If n is equal to nine, we're gonna get u of nine plus one, and that's gonna be u10. And so we're gonna get u10 is equal to nine minus one is eight, and say so u10 is equal to u8 plus x times u9 prime. And so now we need u9 prime to be the subject. So I'm going to subtract u8 and then divide by x. So what I'm saying is u9 prime, when I make this the subject, it is equal to u10 minus u8 over x. That's u9 prime. So let's go ahead and do that. Looking at it, u8 is 13 plus one, 13x plus one, and u10 is 34x plus one. So u9 prime will be equal to u10, which is 34x plus one minus u8, u8, which is 13x plus one, and that's being divided by x. And that's u9 prime, right? So now that that is u9 prime, we can go ahead and continue. And what we're gonna get is u9 prime is equal to 34x minus 13x, which is 19x. And so we have 19x, one minus one is 19x, and 19x over nine is just 19. So 34 minus 13, oh, I made an addition error, 34x minus 13x is 21. So u9 prime is 21. My apologies, that's 21. It's gonna be 21x divided by x and 21x over 21x is 21. Nice and easy, so that takes care of that. Very easy question. Well, let's look at this now. It says the nth partial sum of a series is given by Sn, which is a sum from the sum from one to n of r times r minus one. Show that Sn is equal to n times n squared minus one over three. There's two way to do it. You can use method of differences or you can use the formula, all right? So let's just use the formula. Using the formula method, we're gonna have that Sn is equal to the sum from R equal one to N of, instead of saying R times R minus one, we're gonna write it as a sum of R squared minus r 
And then we know using summation laws, we can rewrite this as the sum from one to n of r square minus the sum from one to n of r. Now the sum from one to n of r square is given by a formula and that formula is one over six n, one over six n, one over six n times n plus one times two n plus one. That's the sum from r equal one to n of r square. It's one over six n into n plus one times two n plus one. And it's going to be minus the sum from 1 to n of r squared, which is a half n into n plus 1. That's a half n into n plus 1. Cool. All right. Now that we have this, what can we do? Well, what we can do is, well, we can factor out, let me see. We can factor out. I'm going to change this as a half. I'm going to rewrite a half as three divided by six, just for now. It's going to make it easy to factorize. I'm going to write it as three over six. So that allows me to factor out a half, well, one over six n times n plus one. And when I factor that out, I'm gonna be left back with, factoring out that, I'm left back with two n plus one, two n plus one, yep. And I factored out one over six n into n plus one, so I'm left with two n plus one minus the three. And so what I'm getting then is this becomes one over six n times n plus one times two n minus two. And so I can factor out the two. And factoring out the two, I'm gonna get, factoring out this two, you get two over six of n times n plus one times n minus one. All I did was factor out the two out of two n minus six. Factoring out that two, now two over six is just one over three. So you get one over three n. Then n plus one times n minus one is n squared minus one. Nice and easy, soft. And that takes care of this question. All right, nice and easy, soft. So that takes care of this question and we'll finish. Now let's go here. It says, hence or otherwise, evaluate the sum from r equal 10 to 20 of r into r minus 1. Now, notice that the formula only applies when you're summing from 1 to n. So what we have to just write down first and foremost is that the sum from 10, the sum from 10 to 20 in general of this right here, all right? The sum from 10 to 20 is just gonna equal to the sum from one to 20 minus the sum, minus the sum from one to 11, all right? That's it, that's all. And so the sum from 10 to 20 is going to be equal to, using the formula, the formula is going to be, here's the formula, one over three n into n squared minus one. So it's going to be one over three n 
in this case, n is 20. So it's one over three n, which is 20 times n squared minus one. That's the formula n squared minus one. N squared is 20 squared minus one. And then we're gonna subtract one over three into n times n squared minus one. All right, nice and easy, soft. So let's continue now. So let's work this question out. So that's going to be one over three times 20 times 20 squared is 400 minus one. This part works out to be 2,660 minus, let's work out this part now. You have one over three times 11 times 11 squared, which is 121 minus one. That part works out to be 440. And so you take the difference and that will be the final result. Nice and easy. So 2,660 minus 440, which is 2,220. 2,220. Nice and easy, soft. And that's that, All right? Lovely. Now, 